What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another vlog. So the Mustang has been hit and go for a lot of things recently. I've been doing a lot of stuff to it. Stuff hasn't been going right. And so I've just been uh, kind of going in circles with the car recently. Uh, I purchased something last night that it's kind of cool and I've been wanting for a while, but never really had uh, the time or money to make happen. I've always, on um, both the three valves, and this car, I've always, always, always used rep wheels. Um, the only real wheels that I have were avant-garde wheels, which I did have for this car that I had to, um, they were made for something else and I had to re-bore the center of the uh, wheels using a Dremel to make them work. So it was just complicated and I never really got the right wheels for the car. Anyway, last night I found some wheels on Facebook Marketplace up in uh, Brighton, which is Northern Colorado area, Northern Me Denver Metro area. And uh, I went and I snagged them. I really like them. So there they are. I hope you guys like them as much as I do. They are HRE FF01s. And I got them for an incredible deal. I just had to pick them up. I used to have those SVE track wheels on the car and it was really hard to run those because the amount of camber was, it was ridiculous. And it was a squared 305 setup. So what I did is I got rid of those and then I had stock PP1 wheels on there for a couple days that I wanted to kind of keep for winter time, I guess. And then I found these and just couldn't resist. So I need to reinstall the stock hubs because to get the 305s to work, I had to use the three quarter inch spacer. And then to make this work, I had to use extended uh, lugs, uh, the Fort Performance extended lugs, and I just got the whole new hubs. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these back on the car. And then I also was gonna wrap the roof matte black to kind of match the wheels, to match these vents and see how it looks. So if I can find some vinyl and everything, I'm gonna go go ahead and get it all done so the wheel is off i got everything disassembled here ignore my silly toolbox i i, I but the wheel is off and what happened is these extended stud or lugs um they're spinning so i don't know if i just need to push them in which i can't really see from here i don't know if i just need to push them in but i think i'm just gonna replace them with the stock ones i've never had any problem with the stock ones so uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and replace it. So I could be wrong on what the real problem is here. Um, on the other side, I thought that the studs were spinning. And on this side, I got, where did I put it? I just don't have a deep enough socket and it's not staying on the lug enough. So what I'm going to do is try to find a deep enough socket or something that maybe can uh, work for that. And if I can't, I misplaced that too. If I can't find that, here it is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these, cut that little cap off with my cutoff wheel, and try to use these, and maybe that will work. Finally got the stock hubs back on. You can really see the difference of how long they are. And, uh, yeah. I don't know, that wasn't, that's not right when using stock size wheels, so now that I'm not using the 305s, these will work a lot better. Alright, the old hub is back in, and then my sway bar end link, I don't know if you guys can see it right there, it keeps uh, coming undone here at the bottom, I don't know if you can see it's kind of loose right there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a tack right there, and a tack right there, do the same on the other side, I'm hoping that stops it from breaking all the time, so uh, let me go ahead and tack that real fast and then we can start putting everything back together. That's it. This side is done. Let's get her back together.
Alrighty, both the hubs are done. I got both the spray bar and links in there. What's up guys? So it's a couple hours later. I've just been working on the car for the last couple hours trying to get it all set and done the way I like it. I got the tie rods done. Or the, the sway bar links, not the tie rods. The sway bar links done. And then the new hub's done. And then I also did find some vinyl and wrapped the roof matte black, which I really love the contrast of the matte black and the gloss black. It looks beautiful in my opinion. This is what I wanted the Mustang to look like. I am very, very pleased. All I need now is some new fender liners, a new splitter, a new hood, and I'd be set for quite some time. So I'm very happy. The car looks incredible. I love, love, love the mat against the gloss. So finally in a good, good stage. In two weeks, about two weeks, so about a week and a half, we're gonna be heading down to Phoenix for the weekend. Uh, if you guys want to see any content down there, comment below. Let me know what kind of content you'd like to see. We're going to go to some local car shows and do some fun things that I did down there. So, I'm excited. Um, if you guys liked today's video, please like. I know it was short, but I just wanted to uh, show you guys the current progress of the Stang, some things I've been doing to it. Make sure to subscribe. There's some crazy content coming up for this car. And then... Uh, for, for the channel in general. I got some big things I'm planning. So make sure to subscribe and stay on the lookout for those. Without further ado, see you guys next video. Peace.